Hello everyone, Cheshire the Cat on the scene, back with more of Rampa 2. We're continuing the very first class trial with the investigation of Byakuya. Let's dive in and see if we can get an argument or an agreement. Jeff's account and Kamara's account. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. No. It's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. You weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse! No, I can prove where she was, though. I feel like someone spoke about the investigation. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused a black. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Or was it? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the black. I agree with that. Well, I think Pekko is telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. No. And yet, it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. Ugh. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started, and it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive! <laughs> actually... Time out. Byakuya was the one that gave her a plate, right? What if he put a laxative in it or something? When he was biting off the meat skewers? If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you <laughs> <run through. laughs> I said it's fine. Oh, still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? God damn it, Teru. Seriously, stop it. But, but still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. No, he's got a point. I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped through some laxatives? Bingo. Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Question is whether Pico's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. I really think Byakuya was going to kill somebody, and then it failed.
But who would have put a laxative in the party Did dishes? You eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Taro mm. Taro cooked the food, how suspicious! I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Does that make it go as a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it? Did you eat anything weird? Goggles. I don't remember eating anything weird. No. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the. There might have been some lax. Taro, Taro, cook the. I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. Wait. Oop, wrong one. Put any laxatives in the Ah. Did All right, hold up. Anything weird? I don't remember eating. Now that you met, you brought food to the office. Just a little bit from. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? There. No, that's wrong. Maybe not in the party dishes. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pico wasn't the only one who ate that food. The Kane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. Mm. I apologize for causing the scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. That doesn't... What the mm. fuck did you say, bitch? Cease this bickering. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how the blackout occurred. Someone tripped off a bunch of electrical devices at once, including the air conditioning. Hmm. The iron's in the storage room. Yeah. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they Psh. throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? That's an idea. Probably messed with the breaker. Hmm. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Hmm. I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. <laughs> By the way, I'm not a trashy skank. No, she's not. She's adorable. She is a bean. But right there, right at the end, someone Who overloaded it. Maybe they used a remote. Probably it does not have to be. They may have tampered or maybe they caused a power surge. Boom. I agree with that. Okay, the idea of consent and agreement to boost an argument. Oh, she's actually the most evil person in the series. What, the nurse girl? No way. Smyer said the black house. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Ibuki is still my favorite. Yeah. For this one, anyway. The killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Great, another argument. Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! What? How? If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. In the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. Is that really it? 
Dangerous, I should address that first. Okay. And for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Oops. And that means everyone who is in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Oh wait, there there was the argument there. Okay, whoops, I wasn't paying attention. Then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who is in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Wait. Oh boy. Okay, this is gonna take a little getting used to. If the irons in the storage were caused by the blackout. Oh my god, stop. Then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who is in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Oh the god. Irons in the storage room caused the blackout. And for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who is in the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. I can't back down. There. What? Okay. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall were if the irons caused then the killer had to go to the storage room before that. Shoot. Damn it. If the irons in the storage were coupled for the killer to turn the irons up, you're saying they went all the way to the that means everything the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall <sighs> doesn't mean they're not a suspect. I have to watch out for the. But the people irons. in the dining hall weren't able to keep the irons caused the blackout. There. Tell me to cut through those words. Sheesh. Okay, I don't know if I like this mechanic. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners. The timers yep. for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance. And use the irons to nearly max it out. That would make you the biggest suspect, Nagito. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Da-da-da! Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! Ah, I did that in the first game! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! Shh. You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. Maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because... They're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Uh-huh. There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Uh, Nagito? In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Um. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well... You have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. 
For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. Uh, the question is, who caused it, right? You wanna rewind that a bit and tell me what's going on in your brain? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. He sounds different too. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. You were the one assigned to clean the old building. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Nagito is obsessed with hope. Noticed. It's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. This man's psychotic! Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> You guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. What? What? I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. It. If everyone acts like this, I, I'm gonna. Everyone, calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. Then why did you want to investigate in the first place, Nimrod? There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. No, there is one. Did you say something? Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious. Oh person. God, despair. Or due to his ultimate. I see. Then care to tell me about how he's the ultimate lucky? It was in the glow paint. They use glowing paint as a mark. No, they used the glowing paint to see where the killer would have been. I mean before that. Yeah. The killer got that close to the table. And the knife there. And the glow paint in order to do that, they needed to get to the table where it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Nagito is the one closest. Graham is a clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move the table in the dark. It's clearly shown in this diagram. discuss how the killer was able to move that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Oh, this is new. Uh... Here. The lamp? The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. Good, nope, good luck, bad luck. No, but right before you turn lights off, you have an image burned into your eyes so you can see where the lights would have been. 
There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. No, they could have used the afterburn. They would have used the desk lamp. The killer actually used the power cord. Okay, hold on. That makes more sense. Prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Nagito. Who? Could have possibly done it. Oh god, is this it? You, wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Yeah, because he was the one cleaning the house. The table was while he was cleaning. See. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's But then why would have why would he had to have hidden that bloody tablecloth? You factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning it. You're the only one who could have done it. <clears throat> Seriously, that's all just a coincidence. If it was just mm. one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? No, that was a drawing of I lots. Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. To be honest, I always prepared, but I prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? No. I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? I don't think he did it, though. If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something! <laughs> no way. Oh my god. that moment Nakito's eyes, the darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other, as if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. Hmm. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. Right. 
Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. Mm. With a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? He's the one that suggested we search the cottage. Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Lie? That's outrageous. There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand that than anyone else in the world. Too arrogant. Significant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He just seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. <laughs> That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy, is he. Is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And I was busy cleaning the dining hall so that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. He didn't do it on purpose so that Pika would be right where she needed to be. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard the case in the office? That's true, too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Nagito's talent? the ultimate lucky student. I see. You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. Really? You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Haha, <laughs> for someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That, I don't care about that anymore. Importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. 
for someone like him to get killed. He's just as bad as Monokuma. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. Is a nip. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! He's insane! Start the damn boat already. I'm ready to fucking kill this site. Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Huh? The fuck? Um... How should I put this? Um, is... Um, what do you say? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already no. know that, but... Um, there's just... Something really strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Shut up, Yoko. <laughs> Might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. No, we don't. Some listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. And we will be doing that in the next episode. <laughs> Until then, this is Cheshire the Cat signing off. And I will be seeing you, YouTubers, in the next episode, which I assume is going to be the ending of the class trial. So till then, take care. Ta-ta for now.